Hey, good morning, everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Wednesday, hump day. Beautiful morning out here, look at that. Looking out into the Gulf, we've got some of those reverse sun rays happening, look at that. This is looking out to the west. You can see the full moon up there. Just a thin layer of clouds. Got some nice colors happening out there in the Gulf. Look at that big thunderhead cloud out there. Absolutely gorgeous. Bad news though, the red tide is still here. We've still got that red tide warning in effect. Looks like it's gonna be around for a while longer, unfortunately. Isn't that neat though? Look at that. It's like a reverse sunrise here. That is so cool, those rays that we get. Not much of a breeze out here. Nice, nice sunset last night. This is that railroad vine. I took a picture of it yesterday and shared it. There it's coming through the fence. Beautiful flowers on it. This grows wild along our beaches here. You can see it all down here. Well, yesterday morning, we didn't see any dolphins during my beach walk, but as I was heading back to the car, I saw a couple after I ended my live feed. It's usually the way it goes. And last night, when I was out here for sunset, there was a group of them just playing offshore, just hanging around in one spot playing, and then two little ones came up to the south of me, two little dolphins, and were playing along the shore. Maybe we'll get lucky and spot some this morning. It's really, really calm out here. Been incredibly calm out here again this morning. Not having any problems breathing. The air is nice and clean. I'm gonna take a quick little photo of this here before we lose the colors. Bear with me. All right, I'm back here. That's our full moon. See the full moon? See that little white dot up there? There's the moon up there in the sky. That'll be setting into the Gulf shortly. And a big, look at the colors on this cloud over here. This big thunderhead out in the Gulf. Look at that thing. Absolutely gorgeous. So there's a little rain offshore out there. Yeah, it looks like our marine patrol is on the move out there in the water. Doesn't have his lights on. I don't know where he's headed. Cloud. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Incredible out there. Just beautiful, the reflections. Low tides. Oh, around, was it 843 this morning? So we're, we got a little ways to go before low tide. Those are two little snowy egrets that just flew through the shop. I 
want to get a picture of this out here in the Gulf here. Bear with me for one minute. You know me, I like to take my pictures during our beach walks here. If you're new, you're gonna have to get used to those little interruptions once in a while. You know, I'll show you. Yesterday I went down to the Park Shore Beach and took a picture and I was down, way down. Let's see if I can get my finger in here without yeah it's hard well you see those condos in the center i was just to the right of them when i took that picture in, at park shore yesterday and actually if you look at that picture that i took yesterday from park shore if you look right in the center of it you'll see a lady you got to zoom in you'll see a lady walking on the beach and behind her are the trees up here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. You can actually see Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in that picture that I took from all the way down there, looking to the north. So zoom in onto that picture and look, you'll see a lady walking on the beach and just almost right in the middle of that picture that I took yesterday, and you'll see the pine trees at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Kind of cool. But that's Park Shore. And then here, this is Vanderbilt Beach over here. Right in the center, that's the La Playa, the La Playa Beach Hotel. And as I zoom out, you can see they're quite a ways away. There's the condos of Park Shore. That's La Playa, right there sticking up. That's looking to the south. Well, sadly, the red tide is still here, as I said earlier this morning. Unfortunately, we're still dealing with that mess. And I did see it down there. I did see signs of it down the Park Shore area, and I'm sure it extends all the way down along the coastline, down into, oh, down towards Doctors Pass, and. It's not as bad. The further south you go, the better it is. Then they say in central and southern Collier, there are no signs of red tide. Central, northern Collier, it's kind of weird when you look at a map. You know, people don't want to, they don't realize Naples is kind of in northern Collier County northern and north central when people think of naples they think of southern collier but marco's more down in southern collier and everglades city when you're searching for facts about red tides if you're tr the red tide if you're trying to figure out where it is it's pretty much impossible because the information is always outdated it's a couple days, it lags a couple days behind the postings. By the time they test the water and post the results, it's two days. So it's kind of useless information. NOAA has a website, N-O-A-A, -A, NOAA. They predict, you know, where red tide is, but, you know, we all know how predictions are. So where is, where is the red, actually, where is the red tide? The only way you're gonna know is to go out there or if you have a friend out at the beach, ask them what it looks like. It's like here, it's starting to clear up. The water's starting to clear up. It's still out here, but it looks like it's starting to get better, thankfully. Yeah, a huge cloud, that is just beautiful out there. That is a big thunderhead. That is beautiful. That is quite a picture out there, which reminds me, I better take another one. Well, let's walk up the beach and see what we run into, what we come across here. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we 
Maybe see a dolphin or two. Or three or four, or 20. <laughs> the more dolphins, the merrier. Love seeing those dolphins. I did see a couple dolphins as I was leaving the beach yesterday. And then again, when I came out here and took some stills last night, I saw some dolphins. They were way offshore. There was a couple of them playing. And then there was two little juvenile dolphins were playing way down to the south on the beach here. I was up in area two when I took those pictures. I'm sure a lot of you recognize that boardwalk. If you're new to these beach walks, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everyone know where you're watching from. Let's not forget about our friend Roy. He's doing, he's much happier, much happier now that he's at home. The doctor said he was doing well yesterday. He went to his MD. MD said he's doing well. He said come back in three months. So that's good news. Roy is out for his morning walk as we speak. He goes out and walks around in Naples Park for about an hour as the sun's rising. There's our moon. You see that little white dot up there in the up in the left there? That's a full moon almost a full moon on its way down. I'm seeing some fish jumping out here in the water. That's a good sign. Are there some fish returning here? The beach is fairly clean down here. I don't see any dead fish here along the beach. I'm up here a little higher on the beach. I still see some dead crabs, unfortunately. They're dead crabs. That's a shame. We're gonna be dealing with dead crabs as they continue to eat all the toxic dead fish that are falling, that are settling in on the bottom of the gulf. The crabs will be slowly dying. That's a shame. The tide is, it's pretty low right now. We're in a good hour away from low tide still. Yesterday when I went out to the beach down there at Park Shore, sand dollars all over the beach dead sand dollars all over the beach i mean not literally all over but no problem finding sand dollars on the beach but they're another victim of the red tide sand dollars there's some really nice size ones too some pretty big ones up here at wiggins we were finding just thousands of little tiny baby sand dollars down there in Park Shore, there were some pretty good size ones. There's a lone kayaker making his way down here. Sometimes those kayakers and paddle boarders, they'll attract the dolphins. The dolphins just like swimming alongside of them. I don't see that happening right now.
You know, I don't know where all these dolphins that we see out here at the park, I don't know where they go at night. I don't know if they swim up into the river. I don't know where they hang out at night. I know they do sleep. Dolphins do sleep. They actually shut half of their brain off at a time and sleep, so they're half awake. <laughs> it's pretty interesting the way they do that. And I believe whales do the same thing. There's a kayaker out there. You know what? I think that might be one of our friends here from the beach. One of the people that's helping clean up the beach here. I can't tell. I know I ran into him last night at sunset and he said he was gonna take his paddle board out. That very well could be him. If it is, he'll get a kick out of this. It's so peaceful out there. It'd be really neat to see a dolphin come up. Sometimes they just follow right along with the kayakers, the paddle boarders. It's gonna happen this morning though, darn it. There's the kayaker right there. Starting to get some more blue in the sky here. You can still see the moon up there. Is it set sink gonna sink into the Gulf here shortly? Gorgeous, gorgeous morning out here. Not seeing much in the way of birds along the beach. Yesterday down at Park Shore, there was a huge, huge flock of, they were, I couldn't see, they were kind of far away. They were either terns or seagulls, a huge flock of them. That's always good news to see the birds. Do not see any dolphins breaking the surface out here. Awful quiet out here, so peaceful. Two little snowy egrets doing their morning fishing here. There's one of them. The other one's just a little further up. A little snowy egret.
Beautiful. You want to catch something? They just walk up and down the beach all day long looking for something to eat. Come on, dolphins. Show yourself this morning. It's so flat out here. This is when it's really easy to spot them. Be nice if the sun was up. The sun has not made it up over these darn trees yet. Beautiful though out here. You can see the trees are starting to catch a glow there. The sun's back here behind me. That's where I was last night when I took, well, this is the beach I was at. I took some pictures from up on that boardwalk of last night's sunset and then down here on the beach. This is the north end of area two right here. Beautiful twilight after the sun went down. Some really cool clouds. Here's that little snowy egret walking back up the beach. They just march up and down the beach in search of food. Oh. oh, darn it. There was another one up there and they both just took off. I was just gonna walk along with with it. Every once in a while I see some ripples out in the water of something popping its head up or it's a fish jumping, it's fish, it's not dolphins, but every once in a while I'll see a swirl out there. I wish I saw swirls all over. I wish the water here was just jumping with fish, teeming with fish, but not right now. Hopefully those days will return here soon, sooner than later. bit by some no see out here. It's so calm. We need a nice little breeze. We need a nice little offshore breeze. Blow the bugs away and blow the red tide away. Look at this. These stumps are normally underwater. These old tree stumps. So we're below. The tide is pretty low right now. You see all these stumps, you can see how far the beach used to come out. I mean, this used to be the tree line here. This beach is constantly changing here. Always changing shape. It's really got some interesting curves in it now as we walk up here to the north. It's always changing size too. You never know how much sand there's going to be here. Every time we have a storm, it changes. Or when we have some extreme tides with the full moon. That moon is really pulling the water out this morning. Probably gonna be a, another really low tide again this morning.
Moon's still up there in the sky. I don't think it's quite a full moon. I think it was a full moon last night, the night before last. There's what's left of it up there. Well, now that cloud, now that the sun's getting higher, that cloud's losing its color. It was a beautiful pinkish orange earlier this morning, like a coral color. If you haven't done so already, check out Sunday's beach walk last Sunday. This past Sunday was incredible. The amount of dolphins that were out here, just incredible. The most I've seen out here since I've been coming here. Well, since I've been doing these beach walks. I've been coming here for a long time. I've been doing the beach walks for about three years. The sand is really, really soft out here. You sink right down in it. Unfortunately, we are seeing the dead crabs here. That red tide is taking its toll on them. There's one down here. But it looks like the rangers and the volunteers have done a really good job of cleaning things up. If you're just joining, we still have the red tide warning in effect, unfortunately. Look how low the water is here. See the waves breaking here? There's That water is just maybe inches deep over there. Just gonna keep scanning the horizon here in hopes of a pod of dolphins swimming by. Well, if you watch, if you watch Sunday's video, watch it on YouTube. That's an osprey landing there. That is an osprey that just, I think it was an osprey. Yep. That is an osprey. What is it doing? Is it coming out to get a drink? What a beautiful bird. An osprey that just landed in the water just landed on the sandbar out here actually we usually see them up in the trees is that a dead fish i hope it's not checking that out that is a Good look at an osprey on the ground there, folks. Again, we normally see him up in the trees. I think he's just out here taking a drink. Can't get too close. I'm zoomed all the way in. Definitely keeping his eye on me, him or her. Darn it, I wish there was more light out here.
How neat is that to see an osprey out in the water just walking along the beach? What a magnificent, oh, there he goes. What a beautiful bird, the osprey. Where's he going? Uh, it's really hard to follow us. There he goes. Wow, that was so cool. Now he's just perching up in the tree up here. That was so neat, seeing him out in the water like that. And just ahead of me is a beautiful great blue heron. A runner just ran by me. I hope he doesn't scare it away. Something we find on the beach here. Lots of feathers. Lots of feathers. If you get lucky, you might find an osprey feather. Ah! It took off. No, it didn't. There he is, up on the tip of the... I can't get a shot of him here. He's behind some branches. Now he's turning his butt towards me. Give you a look at it up in the tree there. There he is again. That's the same osprey we just saw out on the beach. Isn't that beautiful? Looking right down at me. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. It's about as close as I can get you. That's as close a look as I can get you of that osprey. I'm going to move up the beach here. You can see the osprey is perched right up there. That's a good look at an osprey. Two looks at an osprey. We saw him down on the beach and then we saw him up in the tree. I think that big blue heron, great blue heron, is still up the beach. Oh, more dead crabs here. That's a dead stone crab down there, unfortunately. Uh, <clears throat> a dead stone crab. Darn, I want to take advantage of this low tide here. Maybe we find something, some neat shells. I want to get up and see that great blue heron before it takes off before somebody scares it away. I think it's a great blue. We've been seeing more and more of those down here. This is where that osprey landed, just right over here. He was just walking along the edge of the beach. That was pretty cool. Very, very low tide out here right now. Extremely low tide.
pretty clear morning here. Clear blue skies. Well, it's been a while since I've been out here. This water is very, very shallow right now. Extremely shallow. I'm surprised. I'm not seeing... A lot of times you'll see some whelks, big whelks, just the tips of them sticking out of the sand here during these low tides. Still, I haven't spotted any dolphins yet out here. I've not seen any dolphins yet. I did. I saw him later yesterday when I was leaving the beach after I ended my live feed, unfortunately. That's usually the case. And I did see him last night as well. I saw a couple here during sunset last night. They were just too far away to get pictures. Look at that sky. Oh, that big blue heron's walking up onto the beach now, darn it. He's still a ways up. Normally, this part of the beach here is all underwater. I was hoping this really low tide would uncover a little treasure here. Some kind of really interesting shells or something. There's an olive shell down here. A little olive shell. Those are pretty. The olive shell. that blue heron go? Darn it, it was a great blue heron. He moved on to somewhere else. Darn it, I wanted to get a shot of that thing. Those are beautiful birds. They're so big, the great blue herons. I don't see him here anymore. Rats. Very quiet out here. Just a couple people running, walking on the beach, jogging. Very, very, very calm out there in the Gulf this morning. Still no signs of any dolphins though. You're just joining, yes, we still 
are feeling the effects of red tide here, unfortunately. No idea how long that's going to last. Oh, I see that heron. I see his head popping up. This is incredible how low the tide is. I mean, it's like the beach is going up and down now because the tide is so low. It's like little hills here. It's really cool. This is normally all underwater out here. This is all, normally all underwater where I'm walking right now, even at low tide. There's conch shells down here, a little Florida fighting conch shell. Beautiful shells, the fighting conchs. goes our kayaker. How'd you like to be out there? Look at the fish jumping. Can you see the fish jumping right in front of them? Well, between us and him, there's a bunch of fish jumping. That's the shadows of the trees from the beach that he's going in and out of. Now he's getting out into some full sunlight there. So peaceful. Wouldn't that be fun? Well, let's just keep walking along the beach here and see what we find. I'm hoping to find something special with this low tide. Again, where I'm at now is normally underwater, even during low tide. We just have a full moon, or almost a full moon, and the tides are kind of on the extreme sides. Kind of stinky, just because this is normally underwater. I haven't really seen, I was hoping to find some nice whelks or something out here. I'm not seeing them. Huh, that's surprising. A lot of times you'll find just 
the tip of a shell sticking out. When it's low tide like this, normally the shells are buried. So you'll see just the tip sticking out. And you pull it up and it's a huge, it could be a huge horse conch, a huge lightning whelk. There's some pretty big shells out here. I'm not seeing any right here. Darn it. We're just getting up to our good spot where we find a lot of stuff. Or where we find, we don't find a lot. But where I usually find the good things is just up ahead of me here. There's that big great blue heron out there in the water. He's just got himself out in a little sunlight catching fish out there. I don't want to startle it, so I'm going to zoom in from here. Attempt to zoom in. Hang on. My camera gets stuck once in a while here. Here we go. Oh, dang it. There you go. Sorry if I made you sick there. That's a great blue heron. And it'll just stand there sometimes like a statue. And all of a sudden, bam, it dives down into the water for a fish. Beautiful birds, the great blue herons. See something? I'm oh, just taking a drink. It's pretty far away from me. That's about as much as I can zoom in there. He's got himself in the shadows. Here he comes. There's a good look at him. Him or her. We saw a beautiful osprey this morning. We saw it on the beach in the water and up in the tree. That was pretty cool. Came down to the water to get a drink or something. I don't know what it was doing, but that was really neat. Now we, we're getting a good look at a beautiful great blue heron. And come around them. You can see it's pretty far away. You can barely see it out there in the water. I'm going to try and come around to the other side. It's far enough out in the water I shouldn't startle it. You can see that water is only maybe six inches deep out there, and there are a bunch of little fish jumping around out there. I don't know if you can see that, if you can see the hair in there or not, it's right there. He got into the shadows. He, I always say he, I don't know why. Is that a guy thing? I don't know. He's just standing there looking at me. Saying, what are you doing, mister? I'm watching you like you're watching me. Magnificent birds. That's standing at least three foot tall, if not more. The great blue heron.
remember I'm just using an iPhone here so it's it's really hard when you zoom in to hold it steady Wish he'd step out into the light. Love to get a picture of it. Just on the edge of the shadows from the trees here. There he goes. I want to get a picture of this. Bear with me for a minute. Sorry about that. We're back here. Giving you a good, the best look I can of a great blue heron here. Absolutely gorgeous. Magnificent, magnificent bird here. We're just following along as it makes its way through this little tidal pool here. Looking for something to eat. Looks like it just got something. Yep, there is a dolphin back there swimming along. We watch. A dolphin did surface back here. I don't know where it's gonna come up now. We just saw a dolphin back there. Where'd he go? I don't know which way it was going. There he is, right back out there. Look at this heron. A heron, a beautiful heron and a dolphin. Hang on a second, folks. I wanna, I wanna get up here, see if I can find that dolphin. He was just behind the heron. zoom out where did he go oh he's making his way slowly up the beach here darn it just one of them he's making his way slowly slowly north he's pretty far away See if we see him come up over there anywhere. You might see him pop up there. He, yeah, he just came up, but it's really hard to see. Really hard to see, darn it. I see another one though in the distance, maybe away. I see another dolphin maybe coming towards us. Let me get out here. Where I'm standing is normally underwater, even during low tide. We're at an extreme low tide right now. There might be some dolphins heading our way here.
There was one going north, and I think there might have been one coming south there. Let's see what happens. Darn it. We are really far out too. Normally we're not this far out into the water. They're just, there's two of them playing way, way down towards Wiggins Pass. Two of them jumping around. so calm out here this morning. We are way out off the beach now, just because of the low tide. Pretty far out in the water. It doesn't look like the dolphins are gonna come this way. There's a lucky paddle border out there he's gonna he's paddle boarding over towards them i don't know if you can see the paddle border he's making his way over towards the dolphins there but they're way up towards that's wiggins pass up where he is that's quite a ways away from me and the dolphins are having a good old time up there. The dolphins are near that orange marker. The paddle boarders getting closer to them there. He's going to get a great show. Now they're just to the left of that marker. They just come up to the left of that orange marker. But again, they're really, really, really far away. But they're here. The dolphins are here. That's awesome news. Not the Miami dolphins. <laughs> Sorry, Sandy. Oh, we've seen some awesome things here this morning. It's really hard for me to see the screen here with the glare from the sun. And somebody said they did see the dolphin jump out of the water while I was filming that um, great blue heron. So that was pretty cool if you did get to see that. Oh wow, a bunch of fish. A bunch of fish jumping out here. Something's chasing them. Darn. I wish those dolphins would come closer to us. All this where I'm walking is normally underwater see the green algae on it it's not toxic algae don't worry this is normally all underwater here the water is normally up to here this little ridge crazy low tide this morning crazy crazy low tide That great blue heron out there. I'm hoping the dolphins come by here this morning, but not 
seeing them. They're here, they're just not coming in close. There's a great shot of that blue heron again. Oh, sorry, that's not a blue heron, that's me. Damn, the screen sticks every once in a while. I can't get the zoom to work. Those dolphins were out there. I was hoping they were gonna come back this way. That always makes for a great beach walk, a nice long dolphin sighting. Kind of shells up here in the muck. <laughs> this is muck over here. This is muck that was dredged up out of Wiggins Pass and pumped down here. I gotta take a picture of this heron before it takes off. I'm actually seeing some crabs, a little bit of life down here. There's a crab crawling along the bottom. A couple crabs, one over here. I'm not seeing what I want to see. I want to see those dolphins swimming by. Look at all the fish jumping right out there. See that? See them all jumping? See how water swirling out there? That's fish jumping. That's a good sign to know that they're out here. And that's what those dolphins will come in and feed on. So those are probably jack. Those are probably jack. So that's a good sign that they're returning. Well, we start down at the south end, down in area one. We're all the way up to area four now, again, up where Roy would normally be sitting under these trees, and this is where we'd have our morning chat. He's doing great. Roy is doing great. He's at home now. Probably just finishing up his morning walk. I'll try to get over there. Maybe tomorrow, bring the camera with me and maybe we'll have Roy play his harmonica for us. We'll have a little chat with him just to give you an update on how his life is going. He is getting better every day. Well, I have not found any of the shells that I was hoping to find this morning. I was thinking we were gonna find some real beauties with this really extreme low tide we're having here. But that doesn't appear to be happening. I don't know, maybe we'll find something on the walk back.
Maybe we'll still get lucky and spot a dolphin on the way back. You just never know when those guys are gonna show up. We're up in area five now at Del Norwegens. Del Norwegens is up at the north end of Collier County, pretty close to the county line. Up on 41, just off 41. Real easy to get here. Take I-75 and get off at exit 111, which is Immokalee Road and head west on Immokalee Road. Turn on Immokalee Road on 41, go west. And it essentially dead ends at the park. You'll go over a bridge, come to a stop sign, just go straight, and it takes you right in to Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Couldn't be any easier to get to. Boy, lots of fish jumping out there in the water. Hopefully it'll attract a dolphin as we're walking back here. Just amazing how low this tide is here. Absolutely amazing. Anybody just joining? Yeah, we still are seeing the effects of red tide, feeling the effects of red tide, unfortunately. I'm gonna start walking back. Got a little bit of a hike ahead of me to get back to parking lot one. That blue, great blue heron's still up here. Just slowly stalking its prey out here in the water. Big fish just jump right. Look at all the fish jumping around it. Did you see that? Just all those fish jumping right behind that great blue heron. Caught it off guard. <laughs> so you can see that water is not very deep. There's fish jumping all around here. It's the most fish I've seen in four days out here.
It's a magnificent bird, the great blue heron. We got some good looks at this bird today. Also got a good look at an osprey. We saw an osprey land out on the beach. Actually, I think he came down to take a, see there's some fish jumping in the back. The osprey came down to get a drink and then we saw it sitting up in the tree. We saw two beautiful birds this morning. Somebody said when I was filming this heron earlier, they saw a dolphin jump behind it. Sorry I missed that. The dolphins were out, but they, I couldn't get a good shot of them this morning. Hoping to see another one maybe as I walk back. So stick around here. Stick with me for the walk back. We're gonna we're gonna start heading back now. There is tons of fish jumping out here, and tons of them. All right, we'll see you later, buddy. Yep, I'm gonna go down the beach with us. Hey, if you're just joining, be sure to let everybody know where you're watching from. It's fun to see where people are at. We get people from all around the world tuning in here. It's pretty amazing. We're at like an extreme, extreme low tide here right now. Crazy low tide. Looks like the desert here with the dunes going up and down here on the beach. Incredible low tide this morning. Gorgeous out here weather-wise. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful blue sky. <clears throat> Excuse me, here's a little fact a little fact about live feeds. If you're wondering where they're being generated from, the location, click on that little red live button up in the corner of the screen. And if the person doing the live feed knew to put the location in, that's how you find where it's coming from. That little red button up in the upper left there. Look at that tide, though, how low it is. Just incredible this morning. This is normally all underwater out here in front of me. Oh, here's a old lightning whelk shell up here on the beach. Piece of a lightning whelk. You get to show you one shell this morning. <laughs> I 
old lightning whelk way up on the beach. This is another common shell here, the fighting conch. I should have picked up one of these earlier. This one's full of sand, the Florida fighting conch. Very common shell here. You need to take some time and if you enjoy these beach walks, take some time and check out some of my previous beach walks. We have seen some really, really interesting things out here. Good morning. Morning, Rob. Just last Sunday, last Sunday's beach walk was incredible. It was all about dolphins last Sunday. I just was running up and down the beach, following them back and forth. The dolphins are amazing. They are probably the most spectacular thing you'll see out here. The dolphins, and then you'll see manatees come by. But the dolphins, you just cannot predict where and when they're gonna be by. Sometimes there'll be pod after pod of them swim by. And that was the case on Sunday. So definitely check out Sunday's video. Watch it on YouTube if you can. It'll be better quality on YouTube. I'll always try to repost these videos on YouTube. Then I'll post a picture or two later today on Facebook from my beach walk and share that YouTube link. As most of you know, I don't get paid to come out and do these beach walks. Southwest Florida Television is just the name of my Facebook page. And if anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. At the end of this live feed. I'm not out here to promote tourism. I mean, my, I'm out here just to show you what's going on at our beach here in North Naples. Keep you informed. I know we have a lot of folks come down from up north and when they're home in the winter, in the summer months, they're curious what's going on down here. So I just do this to try and keep them informed about what's going on in our little part of the world here in North Naples. Especially with this red tide, everybody's curious about the water conditions. So I, I kind of bring it to you as it is. You can draw your own conclusions. There's people always saying, oh, I wouldn't go in that water. Oh, look at the beautiful bird. Oh, I hope it doesn't die. It's like, there's really no need for those kind of comments here. We know there's red tide here, but you know, this is about being positive. It's also about making new friends. It's about connecting with new people on the internet. There's a lot of friendships that have been made here during these beach walks. I mean, it's amazing how many people have connected and actually become personal friends. Friends from up north have come down. Friends from overseas have come over and introduced themselves and made friends 
the people watching these beach walks. It's just incredible. So keep that in mind. That's what this is about. It's about creating new friendships, being positive. Beautiful as we look to the north. Those little interruptions, that's me taking photos there. I'm sorry, but it's the only way I can get some photos here. I just love capturing the moment. The beautiful blue sky is just amazing this morning. Where I'm standing is, like I say, normally underwater. Extreme low tide here this morning. Extreme low tide. There's a little scallop shell down here in the sand. Got a little old green algae growing on it, not the toxic green algae. Little scallop shell. Those little pieces of sand sticking out there, they're usually underwater. There's a dolphin, just popped up right over here. See if we see him come up again. Going swimming to the south, to the left. See if we see it again. Snuck up behind me. There was a spin. There he is. Can you see him? Where'd he go? There he is again. See him over there by that white marker? All right, where are you going? It's pretty far offshore. Where'd he go? There he is. I hope you can see him. Whoa, he just jumped up. Did you get to see that? I'm walking really really fast here trying to keep the camera level see if he comes up again there he is uh, now we're getting a crappy connection hang on a second whoa there he is over I can't see the screen I have lost the screen hang on I'm sorry He was out there. Wow, he just jumped up. Did you see that? Wow. I hope I got it in there. Now he's getting further and further away here. Darn it, he's really moving further and further out on me here. Where did you go? Where did you go, Mr. Dolphin? There he is. He's way out there.
Where did he go? There he is over on the left. Oh, darn it. Well, well we got a, a look at a dolphin. I think you saw him a couple times. I hope you got to see him. <clears throat> There's somebody screeching right up over my head here. Screeching as loud as can be. Hear that screeching? That's an osprey perched up in the tree here. There's another one answering. There's another one in the distance answering. How cool is that, huh? Boy, they were going, they were talking away there. Wow. Beautiful birds, the ospreys. So cool. I don't know where the other one is. Sound like there were two other ones around here somewhere. They were sure making a racket. There's one back in the woods here somewhere. And it sounded like there was another one on one of these other trees down here. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. What did I see out there? Another dolphin? Did I see a dolphin out there? There's another dolphin out there, pretty far out. Two dolphins out there. They're really far out there, darn it. The water is really shallow. That's part of the problem here. They're way out there, slowly making their way down to the south. Very hard to see. There's two of them down there. They're just way, way, they're far, far away here, darn it. Sometimes they come in really close to shore, but being the tide's so low, it's hard for them to get in closer. It's so flat out here. Gorgeous though, gorgeous. The blue sky, the water picking up the blue, the clouds out there. Beautiful colors. It's too bad that red tide's still here. great beach walk this morning we got to see see our osprey and that great blue heron and we did get to see we got a little glimpse at some dolphins it's always nice to know the dolphins are out here
There's some volunteers out here. Some young ladies cleaning up the beach with one of our park rangers. Morning, how you doing? Good, thanks. Trying to see if those dolphins turn around and head back. Not seeing anything though. Gorgeous out here. Beautiful Wednesday morning here in North Naples. The water is starting to clear up a little bit, thank goodness. It seems the further south you go, the better it gets. We're all the way up in North Naples. Love this place. My home away from home here. I'm just kind of scanning the Gulf here, hoping for one last little dolphin sighting here. We just got a little glimpse of a couple dolphins or just not too long ago here. beautiful as we look around here.
at that sky. I can hear that osprey all the way down here. He's up in the tree, way, way down there. That osprey we saw just a few minutes ago, I can hear him all the way down here. Wow, I see a huge, can't see him in the camera, a huge flock of birds out there. Huge flock of birds. Looks like might be pelicans. You can see the water is starting to clear up a little bit. It's not that nasty, as nasty and ugly brown as it was over the weekend. Still got a long ways to go though. I'm going to give you one more look around here. Well, it was a very, very peaceful walk this morning. Very quiet. Definitely got to check out that great blue heron we saw. A magnificent bird. Absolutely beautiful. And the osprey. Got a couple looks at an osprey this morning. Kind of a unique look. We saw an osprey kind of come down to the water and take a drink. It was walking along the beach. That was kind of neat. We did get a quick glimpse of a couple dolphins. Nothing like Sunday's video. I just don't see them out here. They went south. They swam down to the south and Usually they'll come back and forth a couple times, but that wasn't the case this morning. Oh, nope, that was a bird just landed, darn it. I saw something jump, that was a bird. Well, I don't spot I cannot spot any dolphins out here right now. It's amazing too, it's so flat out here. This makes it really easy to see them. That water is almost like glass. Gorgeous as we look up the beach there. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Hey, if you wanna be kind and make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Just getting over the summer doldrums here. Things are always slow in the summertime. If you do wanna make a contribution, you can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post as soon as the live feed ends. Remember, you can always watch these videos later at your leisure on Facebook and on YouTube. You can scan through to the good parts. Be sure to take the time to watch my other videos, do some searching, search for some of my dolphin encounters. I had some really good ones with Roy, Roy and I out here. Had some fun watching dolphins. Up close and personal. I'm 
getting ready to call it a morning here, folks. This is where I started, right here on this boardwalk in Area 1 this morning. One more pan. Absolutely beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great Wednesday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.